Okay, folks, today I want to talk about the iWave R. Again, I've done a couple of videos on these things already. These things have a tremendous amount of benefits. And one of the main benefits I actually like on this, this device will last up to 10 years and you never have to replace the bulb. Right now, we as an industry, we sell UV lights. And every two or three years, the owner has to buy a bulb that costs us $100 to $300, depending on the type you put in. And this here is something that not only will last 10 years, but if the owner wants to take it with them in the future, they can take it. Uh, we have put in quite a few of them here at Jones Air Conditioning. And just, just a couple of things I want to talk about with this while I've got this in my hand is the wiring. The wiring is so simple with this. Um, this here is just for enunciator light. Let's say you, you have this uh, in, a, in your unit and you want to have a, a red light, a switch to indicate that it's working. That's what this is. That's a remote sensor, 24 volt. And here is the good thing about this unit here. You can hook this thing up to 24 volts or 260 volts, the transformers inside of it. So what we actually do, we actually hook ours up to the 240 volt circuit. So this thing runs continually. This thing produces 160 million positive and negative ions per second. So this thing runs continually. And if you notice the brushes here, every three days the thing will come on and actually will clean the brush. It's a self-cleaning uh, technology here and it works fantastically. And so what I've done, I've had a few customers that had uh, mold smell, a mildew smell, uh, smoke, pet odors. You put this in it and after about 72 hours, this thing has scrubbed the air and cleaned it up. And what happens, it, it watches, if you, I want you to watch the new tone, the new Calgon video, okay? I know I'm doing a video, but they have a good product here. And in their video, it shows how the atoms uh, from the uh, mold and mildew uh, are starved by the hydrogen atoms that this thing produces, okay? And just some of the benefits real quick that I want to talk about, and I'm just going to read it off the box. It, it, right here. It kills bacteria such as viruses, E. coli, strap, MRSA, prevents dirty stock syndrome, static electricity, removes pet odors, cooking odors, airborne mold, reduces smoke, allergens, particles, VOCs. It keeps it clean. Here's a couple other things. There's no uh, ozone either. It's, it's very safe. It's got a three-year warranty on it. I want to point that out. 24 volts to 260. Like I said, we, we wire ours 260, so it's on no mercury. Uh-oh. No mercury. And it's, it's, it's just a self-cleaning system. That's what these brushes are. It's a self-cleaning system right here, okay? Let me show you one more thing real quick. I just want you to look at the uh, specs on it. Right here, 50, 60 megahertz, it's less than 10 amps. That's why it doesn't matter if it runs 24 seven, which is what we recommend. The whole thing is only six inches, two inches diameter, 160 ions per uh, second. And it's got a green light on it. You'll see the green light when it's on right here. You can test it. And here's just a uh, power button. If you wanted to self clean it, you push that power button, it'll just self clean itself, okay? But usually I don't do that. Okay, and this even wire diagram, the neutral, which is, uh, we're gonna do ours 260, so this is one high leg, this is a high leg, this is the ground, and this is the sensor, okay? There's really not much to this thing, guys. I wanna show you also, with this unit, it comes with your toggle bolts and some nice sift tap and screws to put it in. So what we're gonna do today, I've taken deliberately. One thing I wanna point out, as you look at the video, you want your ions to be pulled in you can mount it in several different directions, but keep this in mind. Let's, let's look at this. Pretend we're playing football and we want to kick the football between the goals. The air is supposed to pass through the goals, okay? So when you mount this thing, you want to make sure the air is flowing past this, going through it this way or past this way. So what I do here in my vertical units, here's the, here's the fan shaft, okay, for you technicians and uh, handyman that do this kind of thing, the shaft right here. So I've already taken the deliberately of measuring the the height of the unit and the width of the unit, and I've come up with this dimension right here, okay? So what I'm gonna do, this this hole right here is a three inch hole. See, now see how this works? So I, I bought me a drill bit, and I'm gonna drill the exact three inch diameter hole that this will set inside the equipment, okay? So come on over here and let's, let's drill this. Now, this is a, um, hold on a second. 
Let me clip this. In. Here, put this on the drill pole real quick. Okay, what we're going to do here, I've already got it measured, so I'm going to kind of pilotly drill the hole for me. Now, and we always use WD-40 so we don't um, drill, our, uh, drill our drill bit. So we're just going to start nice and slow here. The key to drilling in metal, by the way, is not how fast you drill. It actually cuts it on the slowdown. A lot of people don't realize that if you get up here and look at the shavings, as I slow it down, that's when it does. All right, now, I'm, now I have bitten. So I'm just going to reverse this just one second. Get over here with the oil, please. Okay, now I'm just going to start drilling very slow. This is the tricky part once we get started here, guys. Just bear with me one second. Okay, I'm just going to drill nice and slow so we don't burn the drill up. When you start seeing the smoke, that's when you want to put more oil on it. That's good. Stop the video. Alright, so folks, what I'm doing is I'm drilling the hole. I've used a lot of WD-40 here. I'm going through it right now. That's good. Alright, so now I'm going through kind of careful. I'm not going like a crazy man here, okay? So I'm going through as it, as it pops through the other side. I, I'm trying not to cut the insulation. I'm going to have to. Okay. Alright, so. So now I've cut the hole. If you notice, I have a three inch diameter hole here. Nice and clean. I'm just gonna push this up. I will clean this up in a few minutes, of course. We'll get all the oil off the uh, unit. Okay, now I want you to notice how this sticks in. It sits right in here. See, see how, seal it how tight it seals? Now what I will do is I'll actually trim just a little bit of the uh, uh, paper back right here just so this rotates very clearly but you can see it now this here will go directly into uh, thing. So look through here. See how it goes into the shaft You want these ions to go right straight to the shaft and as it picks up it will take and will distribute it will distribute the um, The positive and negative ions throughout the whole entire system that this controls of course It'll migrate to other systems. You have a bigger home like we're working into today. Folks, in my opinion, this is really some of the best technology that's come along in a long time. Uh, it's safe, it's easy to install, the customers love it. We at Jones Air Conditioning plan on putting a lot of these in over the next several years on my big high-end custom homes. We always uh, put them in for the customers and they really appreciate it. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment, and please always go to our website, jonesairconditioning.com. Thank you for watching.